Saga Cigars, makers of the Saga Golden Age. The Golden Age is a cigar that takes you back to the classic days of cigar smoking. Through the six generations of experience by the Reyes family, the Saga Golden Age delivers a timeless blend that uses the nobility of the tobacco to bring you the perfect balance of power and flavor. It narrates better than words the history of a family's tradition in tobacco, delivering a cigar much like the ones they used to smoke in the times of Hemingway. Saga Golden Age is a full-bodied, full-flavored Dominican Puro. With tobaccos from one farm, the blend features a Corojo 2006 wrapper and filler from original Cuban seeds grown in the Dominican Republic. Available in four sizes at an affordable price, the Saga Golden Age is sure to please and take you back on a journey to yesteryear. Partagas, since its introduction in 2014, Partagas 1845 Extra Fuerte has won critical acclaim and a devoted legion of fans. Flawless construction and full-bodied flavor are the hallmarks of this rich, dimensional cigar that features prevalent notes of wood and coffee. Made with a unique blend spanning three continents, Partagas 1845 Extra Fuerte is the perfect choice for any cigar smoking occasion. Cigar connoisseurs are already raving about this exquisite cigar, which pays homage to Christopher Columbus's discovery of tobacco during his expedition of the New World. This medium to full-bodied cigar shows off the kind of exquisite construction expected by master blender A.J. Fernandez. This gorgeous box press cigar features a delicious dark chocolate Nicaraguan wrapper that houses a blend of Ometepe, Condega, and Esteli filler, bound with a Jalapa binder. Once lit, the perfectly balanced and refined New World gives off a beautiful billow of smoke and hits you with spice and citrus flavors. As you begin to lose yourself in the rich aromas of the New World, flavors become more complex and begin to express hints of hazelnut and coffee. The New World is a first-time collaboration between A.J. Fernandez and his father Ishmael, making this cigar stand out in the A.J. Fernandez line. To commemorate the union of father and son, A.J. Fernandez is offering you this masterpiece at an MSRP of $6, unheard of for a cigar of this caliber. A.J. Fernandez invites you to embark on the journey and smoke what he guarantees to be one of the most talked about cigars of the year. The New World, Cigar Journal's number one cigar of the year. <laughs> I, just, I have a couple of administrative notes, which I think is hilarious. And Stogie Santa and I shared a uh, uh, kind of an inside joke about the Braden face. Braden's my son. And just he gets this face. I want to call it a scowl, but it's a look of disapproval. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets on his. I, I WTF. Have the same kind of, I, and I have the same face. But what's funny is I'm Braden's dad. But when I make the face, Stokey Santa calls it the Braden face. <laughs> it's just, which is hey, Paul, hilarious. Paul, he's the he's your older one who, who came down to North Carolina that time, right? Yeah, he's my older okay. son. You've met you've met Braden yep. before. Yeah, yes, I have. Yeah. yeah, I can see this. Yeah, but I can yeah see he's my older there. one. Yeah, yeah he's yep. hilarious. Both all, both my sons are hilarious. Do they keep me laughing? In their own ways, they're very different. But oh, yeah, so Braden true. has the Braden face, right. which we see the Braden face sometimes uh, oh. for both myself and Braden, which is pretty funny. Um, also, we're out of drinks, yeah, which is know it. it's sad. In other, I've been, in, yeah, I know it. And we can't we keep looking at it like it's going to fill there's up. There's no one to make it. Keith is, is left. He went uh, home. Oh, he went to bed. I can't blame him. No, um, it's probably a smart thing that we're not drinking. Yes, probably. We're gonna. We have. We'll, we'll do Fuji water. Maybe Fuji this water. Is alcohol. Good. Fuji water. Yeah. Is that like last the time we did Fuji water? Didn't Fiji didn't Stogie sit on a, uh, a mm. Fiji water? Didn't he sit on a cigar at that time? <laughs> that was oh, yeah. epic. I, I have more people in the shop saying that. It's the funniest <laughs> it thing. It is ever. the most talked about moment in the history it of the show. It is the funniest moment of the show, I think. Did you, have you gone back and watched the video? Oh, no. I, I, I tell you what. My daughter said it was the funniest <laughs> thing she's ever seen since she was born. <laughs> How's that? That's my own <laughs> daughter. She said, that's you, Dad. Said, she, whatever, whatever. And so. she wouldn't say that unless it was true mm -hmm. because she has come she from the same that. cloth as yeah. you. Yeah. She that says, is oh, absolutely 100% yeah, yeah. She, true. And she says, no flies on her, dude. No, like, yeah. She's still got it. Someone took that fucker sucker. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't remember that, that that sound. It was like, uh, dude, you could you couldn't rehearse that. You know what no, I mean? Yeah, you could. You know, and, yeah. and then the looks like someone stole that. I'm looking underneath the. Oh, anyway. So what's our next episode? Okay. More anyway, <laughs> let's continue our discussion of pipe tobacco. Mm -hmm. uh, on Thanksgiving, I smoked a pipe. Um, I have two pipes now. I have the Sugi pipe, 
um, which I I don't know that I would recommend. Like it was my first pipe. Probably not the first pipe you want to start off with. Like I bought uh, probably a Peterson pipe for like forty six dollars or something like that, and it's the uh, I'm gonna test my pipe tobacco knowledge in my pipe knowledge now. It's got the 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 curve in it, right? So it, mm-hmm. the bowl sits lower from the stem, right? Mm-hmm. Which I like better. Right. The Sugi is a straight, you know, right? Straight. Everything comes it, straight at yeah. You. The the one that I bought has that uh, the bend, so mm-hmm. it, the bowl sits lower, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's also uh, what are the different uh, uh, components of the pipe? The what is it made out of? It's, wood. It's not birch. What's the 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 wood that um, it, the component that it's made out of? I know what you mean. Oh, um, Bri- fail briar my wood. No, briar wood. Briar. It's a briar. I bought a briar pipe. Thank you. I'm going to fail my tobacco in university test. Yeah, right. That didn't have it's the a European briar filter pipe. where you don't need you don't have to put a pipe filter in there. Yes. You just go clean it out. So, so I have a briar pipe and it's the I call it the Sherlock Holmes style yeah. style pipe, which I really like. The Sugi is great. Don't get me wrong. Probably not the one you want to start off with, but, uh, but the Sugi see- is great too. I, I like my Sugi pipe. Um, I was smoking the pipe tobacco that I really like. Uh, that I call Fight Chuck Norris because I've tried over a dozen, di- about a, a, a 10 to 12 different uh, pipe tobaccos. The one that I like actually comes from a local shop. Uh, it's called Yellow Jacket. Mm-hmm. Very, very popular. They mix 30 pounds a week of this pipe tobacco. They just, they, they got a blend. And it, the, the components of the blend are interesting. It's interesting how you describe pipe tobacco. It's very different from uh cigars in a lot of respects uh the the pipe tobacco they make has a really great uh the way it burns is awesome like for me i suck at packing the pipe like i say so i think there's we only go too like f- uh, I, people use a tamper i just use my thumb just, just a lot a of the firm, old school guys yep. like yourself will say and I'm like, oh, I got the lighter that has the little tamp on it. They're like, don't do that, dude. Oh. Like, you just you, – he's like, fill the bowl, mm-hmm. pack it in with your thumb or your finger, fill the bowl again, yep. pack it in yep. with your thumb, then fill the bowl again and tamp it down again. Like, it's a three-step process. Yep. I, it takes a lot of practice, I think, to get that right. And I, I just – I've gotten it right a couple times, and I can tell. Like, there's a huge difference in, like, when I'm like, wow. If I spend a good portion of the day, like, smoking the pipe – like by the third or fourth time of back of the pipe, like I'm like, oh, I got this down and it's smoking really good because I've kind of practiced it. Um, because if you pack it too much, it'll smoke like a cigar that's plugged. Yeah. If you don't pack it enough, it'll smoke it like a cigar that's underfilled and neither of which is good. You want to land somewhere and right. there's a sweet spot. And that sweet spot, I think, differs greatly from the kind of pipe that you have and the kind of pipe tobacco that you have. Right. So... You, Again, it goes back to that patience thing. Right. That's the, a lot of the patience thing. But the yellow jacket blend from the local shop called the Humidor, I think, is is great. It's great pipe tobacco. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys at Mr. J. Savant, it, it, so that one for me is Fight Chuck Norris because it, it burns great. It has a fantastic flavor. It's not an over-the-top, like, vanilla cherry kind mm-hmm. of thing like some of the pipe tobaccos. Um, it's got a great sweet flavor to it. Very, very smooth. And it's really easy to back a pipe with it and have it burn right. You guys also have one that is your best seller well, that is really one, good one, as well. Yeah, one's called Buttered Rum. Yeah. That's really, it's really, really good. It's, it's really very, good. Very, very, very yeah. good. And Golden Cavendish. And and, Cav- and Black Cavendish is something you use to cut your tobacco with. Yep. You know, so if you get something like a very cherry and it finds too sweet, you put some Black Cavendish in there. So and you, you can. Cut it up. So pipe tobacco is, there's, all, there's Orientals, there's Cavendish, there's yep. different types of pipe tobacco. But what's interesting and what I think differs from cigars is you can take different pipe tobaccos and mix them together yeah, on your yeah, own, right, which is exactly. kind of interesting. Yeah, it really is. And like I said, I, I got to find that, and, and I'll see what happens. You know, I'm going to go back to something. I think I was smoking pipes in my mid twenties. I really, I, you know, here you think you think it'd be the other other way around. Yeah. And I, I really, I I've, I've been having a strong, strong positive feeling about going back to a pipe and just to fill in some areas i mean i'll, I'll be probably 70 percent pipe i mean 70 percent cigars and 30 percent pipe no at this i, point. I agree I mean? it's it's definitely every once in a while thing for me too mm. um i i like taking the end of a cigar that uh i really enjoyed and putting it in the pipe 
I've had some pretty good success with that. Mm -hmm. I think I get a practice how you put it in the pipe. Do you put it with the burnt end facing up? Do you put it in sideways? Like, how mm -hmm. do you put it in the pipe? And depending on the size of cigar that you're smoking, uh, which pipe do you put it in? You know, because some what of the, bowl, the bowls bowl. are different. Right. The, the different style sizes. of bowl, different yep. size bowls. The size of the cigar kind of weighs into that. It's kind of fun to experiment with. You get down to the end of the cigar. Like, let me try putting into my different pipes and, and see what works. No, that I, could be I, that's I just, a fun I, experiment. I got it, but I, I, I look at it this way here. I think that's taken to another extreme. I think, for me personally, I've always smoked a cigar far enough in my hands that I don't yeah. need a pipe. So I, the, I, that's I, to me. Now, be honest, you saying it. There are some cigars where you want to smoke down to the whole thing. Oh, I, if I can get down to this, uh, which I normally do, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, to take that an extra half an inch and add that extra heat to it, it's just not. I, I just don't get it. I, mm -hmm. I really don't. I really don't. You're adding too much. You're adding too much for it for me. But that's speaking just, of heat. I think um, you want to have a soft flame lighter. Oh yeah. When you have a pipe, you definitely nope. don't. Don't take your torch lighters. Mm -hmm. you, you got an awesome soft flame lighter you were showing me before the show. Oh, today. I love this. And th this, <coughs> this, this is the, uh, uh, let's see, I can't even see it. Maybe you can read it. <laughs> this is where all the, <laughs> we'll do this another time. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, what, soft flame that? lighter for your pipes. Right, right. So what's next, Scoop? Go ahead, Will. Well, I'm going to talk about a cigar um, that I kind of left off last week because I want to give it a little time. Um, I smoked the Padron 50th Anniversary Natural. Um, this is the one that you sent down to me, Stogie Santa. Yeah. Um, this is the natural version of the one that's in the humidor. Um, and it's a very, very good cigar. What, I, what I've noticed about – so I smoked the Maduro, okay? And there's always the, the question of Maduro versus natural. I haven't smoked the Maduro yet. Oh, yeah. my God. Smoke uh, the natural. Go ahead, I'm going to say the, go the, ahead, Maduro, the Maduro is a potential cigar to your candidate yep. as a hint. Oh. Um, oh. Um, now, the natural starts out like gangbuster. Now, I had the Maduro as an Oasis cigar. The natural started out really, really good. It was performing almost at an Oasis level. I, it had that sweetness that you get from the natural line, that, that Padron sweetness on the naturals that I really, really like. I thought it lost a little bit of gas in the last third, um, which probably prevented it from maintaining an Oasis rating. Um, what I'll say is these cigars, you know, remember when they came out, they were a lot of retailers which were paying like $100. Hundred, oh, no, hundred, hundred, they were probably $106. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, I, and I paid $106 for the Maduro, okay? Because no, I wanted you didn't. No, you oh, should, I did. Oh, you should have told me that. No, anyway, this is, this go ahead. You had it. This is before you had it. Um, and I'm not regretting it because there was – I think there were some reasons why I wanted to smoke that early. Um, but they've come down, okay? They've started to in come price. down yeah. on price. I've noticed that the retailers who have – there are more retailers that are starting to break the humidors apart. So you can get them – I'm going to – median it between 40 and 60 is where I'm seeing them now. Uh, so I don't think you've seen any lower than – go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go I've ahead. Seen a, I have seen a few for 40 um, in a couple places, all right? Mm -hmm. But for the most part – I think you're looking at that 50 to 60 range right. for it. Right. Um, like I said, so I'm not telling everyone to go spend that kind of money on a cigar other than – I'll tell you why it's a really good cigar. This one's more of a, of a fight Chuck Norris in my opinion with it. The Maduro. No, no the, the natural. You think so? Oh. What do ahead. you have? I, have the, I, I like the Maduro better. Right, exactly. That's what I'm – I thought you said the I haven't the smoked the Maduro yet. The, the natural, the natural has, I've smoked is, is, is good, is, really good. Did you get a, too much of an oaky, woody f flavor on that? On, on, especially, uh, especially in that last third. Oh, it, that, it, it becomes too much for me. It became too much, and, yeah. and I think, but there was a lot of that sweetness I got up front with that cigar, which was really, really the I first mean, I, third. I was really enjoying that cigar, but yeah, it, it definitely. Where I'm telling you, if you have a, you know, I think if you're a Padron fan, you're gonna want to try. I, I thought it was great what I got out of that, but. But the Maduro is is something really really special. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, I got two, my I got two cigars. I'm, I'm I'm wrestling over the cigar of the year, and like you said, the Maduro is is gonna be up there. Are they, I both smoke one yet. I smoke both, Maduro, the both those cigars are Maduros. Oh, the Maduros from beginning to end. The, 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 the number one, my number, yeah, I think you're looking at two two Maduro mm -hmm. cigars duking it. Maybe a third Maduro duking it out, but. 
Um, right now, that's what I would look because yeah, that Pedro Maduro is really, really good. It really is, and 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 um, it, it it it's funny we had that conversation. As I said, when we we had that, and you know, um, more more times than not, me and Cooper are on the same page. Very seldom do we seem to disagree to agree, but on this one, I I I'm I'm I'm, I'm on board with that. You really sure. agree to disagree? Yeah, Paul, you need to smoke the Maduro, oh, um, especially before the end of the year. <laughs> Um, is what I would say. Yeah, come down. Yeah, right, exactly. Come down. <laughs> come down and get the Maduro. You you agree? <laughs> you agree? Yeah, you'll you'll. It's it's uh. You know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna. I, yeah. I am. I haven't I smoked it yet. I am gonna smoke 46. it. Forty six. It reminded me most of the forty six, but it's not the forty six. Is I guess no. the. You don't think so? Forty six is is muted. This and I and I know what you're saying with that. It's but it was in that wheelhouse. I guess I just I'm saying it was most. If I had to say it was in the wheelhouse, more of the fortieth than it is the the forty sixth. I can see the fortieth. Yes, I can see the fortieth. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. It doesn't have that spice component of the fortieth. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's, if that, that makes would, sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, and a fortieth has more a spice component to it, but that sweetness off that the Maduro was insane. Yeah, insane. when you guys talk like this, I just want to go back and smoke all of them again, in the <laughs> in the family reserve. Oh. <laughs> It is. It's like, the, it, it, but the only thing uh, is, I, they're you, all you're gonna good. think they're I'm all crazy. good, dude. You got, yeah, they're all. I'll good. tell you what, Paul got me switched over. He, he, he one of the few ones that I got to go with uh, Paul is the 45th. On the, I always thought the Maduro was better. The 45th, 45th natural. natural, just like the 44th natural. See, Same I don't thing. get the 44th natural. No, and what I was thought the, you did. What was the the 80th? 80th Naturals, it's not. I think no, it was a very was disappointing. Good. No, very I thought that was good. That. I, no, I, 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 I was like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? I couldn't I, I, I couldn't smoke. The, I went halfway through, and I, really? had to put, I couldn't do it with any. I couldn't do uh, Yep, that was a Try disappoint. it again. Those, those yeah. aged well, I'm telling you. Was that the box I bought from you recently? Was it a 40? I, I, 80th no, Natural? You, I, no, not for me. No, Maybe I never, not. No, not Maybe the, not. I, I, don't even, I don't even order the 80th Natural. Maybe it was a different natural. Maybe it was the 46th natural. I don't know, but the 80th natural. Is 85th like, natural. The 80th is a try one. The 85th natural. Yeah. The smaller one. Mm, the 85th, That's the one. Yeah. 85th. That's the one I like. The is that 80th the one you natural say it's not good? is just like I couldn't. Oh, I, I, one of the, the 80th months. is the Perfecto in the 26th blend. Right. Yeah. 85th yep. is the small one the in the Family box, Reserve. Yeah. Right. That's it's the, the one that's a robusto size. That's the one that I like. It's the bigger. It's, it's a little bigger. <clears throat> the only the only Padron I'll ever 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 put a try one is the 80th. I got In one the natural. More. I got one more. We'll talk about. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's talk about wedding cigars. Uh, I smoked a couple. Uh, one was from Mr. Phil Zangi in honor of uh, Will Cooper's daughter. I never got that one. It's in the cooler. It's in the cooler. I have, an, I have another one. You want it? I'll give it to you. Yeah, you said that fucking four weeks ago. Well, what the fuck? Well, oh, your back went out last week. That's why. No, uh, I'm, I'm only busting. You balls. come here and you're like, hey, how, how do you think this? Coop comes to my house. Don't forget. <laughs> both of us. Oh, we'll see you later. Bye. How you doing? <laughs> That's because we drink like 18 martinis when we yeah, see each we, other. We, yeah, me and Coopy, all we did was smoke seven cigars <laughs> and talk about what we like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he says to me, remind me. Yeah, yeah I'll remind you. God. <laughs> so go ahead. How was uh, that? It was really good. I smoked the Robusto size. Will it's a Toro. It's a, what's the larger <laughs> one then? There's only one wedding cigar. No, you gave me <laughs> you gave me a larger one and a smaller one. I smoked the smaller one. There's not a small one. It's one size. <laughs> There's mean? only one size. Hey, there with you go. Picture, it's the one with my daughter's picture on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one size. <laughs> it's all the wrong toros. <laughs> I was drinking here in the studio, and one looked bigger to me than the other one. <laughs> There's only one picture. <laughs> wow. Wow. The K and A cigar. Okay, next. Okay, so there was only one size. Only one size. Okay. Well, I smoked it. Whatever that size was, I smoked it. You sure? I... I <laughs> I'm on the Soy Geek show, and I have no idea the difference between a Toro and a Robusto. Okay. I need, that's it. I need. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so, Will, I smoked the wedding cigar. I just want to say you. a disclaimer. We do not 
what's that? What they say we don't like about the comments of the show is on doesn't reflect the what we disclaimer disclaimer you have a or whatever. disclaimer. Yes. Yeah, okay. Whatever. The Let's go to the next cigar. Ex- well, <laughs> well, so what? will the wedding cigar for your daughter was awesome. Give from Phil saying yes was the Maduro wrapper. It was awesome. Great yeah, cigar. It's the, it's the debonair Maduro, pretty much. Awesome. Awesome yep. cigar. Um, box worthy for sure. I mean, we've talked about Phil's cigars uh, quite a bit. Fantastic blend. It was very good. Very nice of him to to do that for your your daughter's they wedding. They went over. They went over real well. Um, a couple of people. Now it's not a. That's not. That's not a milder cigar. I got that for more of the connoisseur folks. Um, so I was a little care. I you know I anyone want and one can get it, but I kind of told them a couple of people were you know they 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 felt a little power, but all the feedback was really really it was good. good. It was on and, on the day and, of your daughter's wedding. And they did a great job. That band wedding. was yes. that band was beautiful. Where my mother, who's even the most she's a, she's a smoke Nazi, you know, was yelling oh, at us. Wow. Yeah, I love my mom, but but she even said that was a beautiful looking cigar. There you go. All right, that just says it all. Well, let's leave it off on that note. What's Another <clears throat> wedding cigar that I had oh, the yeah, privilege had of that. smoking. Did you smoke this one, the Bashir? Yeah, I, I got. Is that I got, how you say that? How uh, did you get that? I got connections, Will. How, how did you get that? Uh, how have you not smoked the cigar? So Santa smoked one. I smoked one. I have, Where I you have been? You got to get on the bus, dude. I, what the heck? I have a, a very good friend here in the New England area who goes by the name of Dave Garofalo. <laughs> Dave Garofalo <laughs> was kind <laughs> enough Thanks, Dave. <laughs> to gift me one. Uh, and this is uh, Marvin. It was a, in Marvin honor of Samuel. Marvin Samuels. Uh, what, it, it, his it, wedding. It's, yeah. uh, it's essentially what I've read is a feral flying pig size. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if the blend was exactly the same as the feral flying pig. No. I can tell you there was a lot of similarities, to, both in size and flavor, to the feral. There's a story behind that. But anyway, yeah. go ahead. It smoked to me like a really uh, super aged feral flying pig. Uh, and so for me, I rated that uh, a box split in my book. I thought it was very, very good cigar. Mm-hmm. As with the feral flying pigs, the smoke production and draw was unbelievable. I mean, the amount of smoke that this thing produced was awesome. And that's a very same component as the feral flying pig. Or oh, any Liga. Yeah, and, and a lot of the other Ligas as well. Uh, and I thought it was really good. I was honored to have the uh, the privilege of smoking it. So uh, I thought it was great. Thank you, Dave. So, box uh, I, I, That was very uh, cool. Did you ever, you ever have one? No. I Loser! <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Loser! Loser! <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> I'm, uh... oh, we'll, we'll stick with the Drew State theme. <laughs> okay. And we'll talk about, uh, and you smoke this too, Will. Yes. Liga Provada number nine box press Toro. Yes, that's the exclusive that was done for Jeff Borshowitz's. Did you State smoke this, Stokey Santa? Santa? Loser! <laughs> Loser! <laughs> yeah, <I smoked> this. <laughs> Will and I smoke. Will smoked two of them, dude. That's okay. <laughs> I Some things I meant and to be. He has be. another one in his humidor. He told me. That's yep. um, okay. Uh, but this was in a. Uh, uh, a box that Drew Estate sent to yeah. all of the cigar media. Yeah, thank they you. They were very kind enough uh, to send myself one and and Will one as well, mm-hmm. uh, and they included all of the box pressed uh, releases for Corona Cigar for their Drew Estate Lounge, mm-hmm. uh, which is how we we came uh, to smoke yeah. the cigar. Very good. I thought yeah, it was my- a really awesome Liga Provada Number no. Nine, dude. Like, it was good. Now, what, really what would you good. say the major components was different? What the different? What was the different? experience from that from the regular to the box press i i'll say this there was a lot of similarities flavor wise in, in that connecticut barley but it was a little more of an open draw yes and it kind of gave a different experience with that open draw so it, so that when you say open it wasn't it, are you saying more combustion rate than yes higher combustion yeah. rate more so smoke there's production always a little bit of resistance on the on the league as i find which is not yeah, a bad on the toro thing. and the no. bellicoso especially i find a little more resistance yeah, uh, especially in the newer ones, um, and, and even the Robusto too. When I think too. of resistance, I just don't think of Liga. Well, it produces a lot of smoke, but right. in it, this it's, it's, box pressed, the draw is a lot easier. It still a produces a lot of smoke, but the draw is easier yeah. in the box pressed. Okay. Yeah, um, and, and like you said, well, the, the flavor profile is pretty spot on for a, a number nine. I got. Um, you just, I feel like you get a lot more flavor because uh, this size produces a lot more smoke. 
Yeah, that, that was kind of like that. That, that was like my assessment of it. It hit okay. a really great sweet spot about halfway through. Yep. Like halfway through was really it, it came into its own, um, and it was very very enjoyable. So good retro hair on that because of the smoke and the aroma. I thought it was really really good. Yeah. I, How, I what, did, what did you rate it? Um, I would rate this a, a box five. split. That's where I, I had it. This size, dude, box yeah. box split. Yeah, okay. box right. split for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's where I had. Back to you, Will. Um, we talked about this cigar um, last week, and I happened, and we're going to have a very special Stogie Geek shorts. Um, I, had the, I had the privilege of interviewing Bobby Newman from J.C. Newman. Um, and I got to thank Craig Cass um, and Crystal from uh, J.C. Newman for helping set that up. Um, and I talked to Bobby about what we talked about with the Julius Caesar Robusto, which the Julius Caesar is his favorite cigar. And I was ex- I was telling him the experience you guys had with those getting aged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Bobby handed me the, – we got Julius Caesar at the event, but I, he handed me one from his, and it had a little bit of plume on it. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, and, yeah, and I got a picture in the feed of it. And all I got to say, you guys, you're very much spot on how you assess that. Um, it is a very different cigar a year later. A um, ver- lot of flavor, a lot of flavor, nice sweetness. Um, um, towards, the, towards the end, yes, it got a little harsher. I agree. There was, there was some harshness at the end. I definitely got that. I think um, more of a twang than a harshness. Uh, it was a twang, yeah, but it's it was, not yeah. like it's not like it's not enjoyable in the final right. third, but it's just not as enjoyable to me it's as not the a first smooth, two thirds. It's right. not a smooth cigar at the end. No, no, exactly. Mm. Yeah, it's not a smooth. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Um, but the flavors were just were just really good. I, I found it to be about a medium strength cigar. Uh, the body was maybe medium to medium plus on that thing. Um, it, it's a, it, you know, I hadn't smoked a robusto in a while. I smoked, I was smoking the Churchills in that for a while. But I, I agree what you guys said about about this robusto. Um, I had it as a box worthy cigar there. In oh, that yeah. line, with yeah, the I, aged, with yeah, the aged. I bought yeah. a box that was about a, a year old. Sat in I a retailer for about a year. I might go fiver with the first one I had. <clears throat> yeah, and I, I bought a box uh, at a discount. Which never happens, but it just whatever. Yeah. I did buy a box at a, a discount. For me, I find the first third of that cigar to have a little bit of that herbal component. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And then the second third, that herbal component kind of goes away, and it gets like a little toasty, a little richer in the middle third. And then that final third, I don't want to say a sour note, but twangy. twangy yeah, yeah it it's funky. different in the... It makes a very sharp transition for me from first you know, third, second you, third, final third. Yeah, and, and those are, that's what I observe. Yeah, yeah. Having said that, I love smoking them. I think it's box worthy all day long. Can, can, can you really say you know? Again, I'm I'm novice compared to what anybody in the cigar industry, the experts are. I don't think anyone can really determine how a cigar. I mean, we have an idea from when it was going to be and maybe uh, six months down the road, what it's going to be, it's going to be good. But aging components, I think every cigar has a different aging component to it. No, yeah. uh, you know, no Is that a fair it, statement? No, it is a fair I, I statement. I mean, a, a year down the road, do you think uh, uh, may, maybe a Skip Martin, Phil Zangi, these different people maybe have a better component or, or hand on it? <sighs> I don't know. But I do just this. don't. I don't know because, like, of all cigars that have caught me totally off guard, I mean, totally, it was that, what, what was that? With Julius yeah. Caesar. Yeah. Determining I mean, if a cigar is going to age well or not, I think you can pretty, you can, you can gauge yeah, over time. Yeah, what it's going to be. Yeah, what's going to be in, in that you time. You can't say that this cigar is going to age, and I think it's going to have these type of flavors or make these kind of transitions after five years of age. Uh, I think you can say there are people who can say, hey, look at those farms and, you know, this farm over here needs a little more fertilizer kind of thing, what Jorge was talking about, right? And there are blenders who can say, well, this kind of Dominican tobacco, I'm going to smoke on this, you know, this Perito and this one and, and blend great cigars, certainly. That's, that's a known thing. But to say that in five years, you know, I think this cigar is going to have – this type of flavor component to make these kind of transitions. Well, nah, that's my, tough. my biggest thing is is it because of the the 
Afiso, Seco, Lejero type of uh, 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 priming components have something to do with it. It has to. It really does. But I think it's also how the Phyllis wrapper binder meld together oh, too, oh there's no right? th- that's a lot like to you do see it. you can't you shouldn't put like a light cigar and dark cigar next to each other in the humidor because the tobaccos are going to kind of meld together and that could be a bad thing inside of a cigar all those tobaccos are melding together as well and it's tough i think it's next to impossible to say what kind of flavor characteristics it's going to have five years from now because some you people know. some people like that strength component right off the bat in, you in know, the, yeah, and yeah. if that leaves, they may not like the cigar right. after it ages. Exactly. Yeah, 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 you know, no, so it's a, there's a yeah. lot of different, I don't know. Anyway. You know, sometimes, sometimes the flavors, you know, and a great example, we've talked about this, Paul and I, the Alex Bradley Fine and Rare with those 10 tobaccos. Oh, I think, God. I think when, they, when those yeah. flavors start to age, it, 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 it mutes. It, it mutes it. They're very good when you get them, and, but every year I've had oh, them, they, they get, are they not, you've got to smoke them. Otherwise, you're gonna miss miss the. Oh, boat. you're gonna miss on it. I, I wish mean, I had smoked all mine when I first got them. Oh, you yeah. got that right. You got ten components. You got ten different. Oh my god. And I just got I just got this year's and I and I haven't smoked it yet and I'm getting worried I may miss the boat. Uh, the whole thing. I, I uh, I'm not gonna say. It. Anyway, <laughs> what, what's the um, next one? Sombra Mesa. Oh yeah. Uh, I gotta Let's talk about do it. it. We haven't talked about our good friend Steve Saka <laughs> cigar. <clears throat> Let's take the fact that Steve's a great guy and he's friends with all of us. Let's take that off the table, just like we do with Nick, <laughs> and just like we do with everyone else's cigar that we review on the show, and let's talk about the cigar. I, my uh, kind of quick summary on the cigars that I've smoked so far, uh, I smoked Toro, and I smoked the uh, Corona size, Cervante Fino size, which mm-hmm. is like a five and something by 46. I don't know exact sizes. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's, I, it's I, a, I'm I know it's low. a 46 ring. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to make sure I was doing the right, right yeah, size. Yeah, the Toro is the El Americano. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is a six by 52. For me, I liked the Toro better. I thought the richest of the tobacco and the sweetness was more prominent in the Toro that I smoked than the Corona. That's not to say the Corona was a, a bad cigar by any stretch of the imagination. I thought that the Corona that I smoked, which I let sit for a couple of weeks after Steve sent this to, these to us um, uh, to, re, to for us to review, and he had explicit instructions: make sure you let these sit for X number of days. And I, I, I did it's that. Huge. It's huge. Um, it's huge. I like the Toro. Take them out of the cellophane and let them yeah. sit. I like the Toro better. I would rate the Toro, in my opinion, as box worthy. Um, I would rate this Corona right now. As a box split, and I was what flipped. I had. And I was flipped. I yeah. was. I, I, I like the Corona Gorda better. Me too. I, really? I just. Oh, I, it has a, just a different component. See, I was to flipped it. from you guys. I, I no. I thought the Corona Gorda for me could use I a little the, more I age. Th- I think I, it has I think, aging potential. See, see, I, there's a lot of Hoya components to this cigar. It's mm-hmm. very Hoya esque. A Hoya exactly. Yeah. A Hoya esque of and um. Uh, uh, Toro to me did not do this any justice. I, really? I call I, I to Everyone, me I a call a lot of people. Most people are saying that's the size they prefer, and I'm oh, sorry. I'm I, sorry. I, 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 oh, no, I no. prefer the Toro. On that, yeah. I, I, maybe maybe we'll age out better. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not. I, I'm I'm not well, a Steve Sock. I don't now, know. Well do you enough. guys agree the sizes you smoke? Do they all have aging potential in a big way? No, I thought they had aging potential in a big I'm way. I'm not sure about the Toro is going to get much better. And no, I spoke I, to Grand Imperial. I smoked. I, I did well, all of them, and I tell you, I, I and you like the Corona Gorda the best. Corona Gorda just it, it's a sweet spot it, for me. Yeah, Again, me size too. matters, but it doesn't it does. matter. It, it's what you think. It, it's you got to marry it to your palate. Mm-hmm. For me, the Toro was the one so far, and I haven't smoked all the different sizes yet. Just yeah. the Toro in the the Corona Gorda. So now I've seen some very high ratings with this cigar. I'm not. I look and I love Steve, and it's a very very that Corona that's yeah, a very Spino. very good cigar. But uh, I again, can't, my ratings. I'm not, it's yeah. not con- and I love Steve. It's not contending for cigar of the year. It will be one of my top twenty five, but not a cigar of the year. I agree. But but on the, on the flip side of that, but. Think about something. When you get a box worth of rating, that's, that's pretty, not the, that's pretty, pretty fucking rating. good. No, no, it's pretty right. good. You know, but, and, but and again, I, I, not every I new think cigar manufacturer that we review on the show gets a box worth of rating. What what I'm doing at my shop, and probably <laughs> no one else, uh, I, I, I'm calling it the 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 Mexican standoff. I'm putting them side by side. 
Who's that? Nick and Steve Cigar. I, I, it's, it's hard not to do that, right? Yeah. I know. Because what I'm doing is uh, what I'm saying to everybody, and it sounds like a sales pitch, and I, do, I will not give them my opinion mm-hmm. and what size I like more because it's a skewed opinion. And here's a perfect example. Two out of three, we're saying the Corona Gorda. Now, yeah. if we go to Ses Humidor or, 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 or other cigar s- s- sites, they may turn around and say this is the opposite. I don't want to skew anyone's opinion. Mm-hmm. I truly believe on not just Nick's and Steve's cigars, anyone's, you have to smoke the line sampler. Yep. Because if Thank you, you don't, you're cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself. So if you think the Toro is better, that doesn't mean it's a bad assessment. But here's the thing. Don't you don't with you agree both, with that though first right. before with, we go any farther than that? Yeah, no, I agree. But with Steve and Nick, their cigars are of a high enough quality, you're gonna want to smoke that line sampler. No. In both of them. I, I, I just question. think you know And in my opinion, I think so far with Sombra Mesa, it is the Toro that is box worthy. I think that in the El Wayense, which is Nick's cigar, you're gonna go Churchill. Churchill. Is box I, I see. Opinion. I think they're both Corona Gordas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, it's not because well, my it's size. It's interesting. I, I, the Corona Gordas, I think, are really great in both lines, but the, the other sizes just appeal to my palate differently, which is see? why you're saying to everyone else out there, dude, smoke every size. That's, <laughs> you're going to find I, what they, you they, like. Everyone yeah. says, well, that's a big sales pitch. I goes, I'll tell you what. So what do you want me to tell you? So if I tell you Corona Gorda, is I'm skewing and your you, opinion. And, and then what if they don't like it? And right. Then what, they're not right. Gonna tr- the thing that the thing that gets me lately is when I say I like the Toro the best in the Sombra Mesa, and someone smokes the Toro and goes, oh, I didn't like that. I'm not going to try any of the other ones." And that's, right. That's my. That's point. your point, right? And that's what I don't want people to do. No. I want Give you to smoke the different sizes. Um, and I, I, I think. Steve Cigar, let's talk about that because that's the one I'm reviewing, uh, is an awesome blend where you're going to want to spend the time and the money finding the size that you like. Now, yes. I, I hate comparing Steve and Nick Cigars, but it, well, why? it's obvious. Why, right? why do you, why do Everyone see? else is doing it, so I'll do it too. Nick Cigar is also of the caliber where you're going to want to smoke every size in the line and figure out which one that you like. They both produced some... Excellent quality cigars, where it, they are both worth the time and the money to figure out which oh, size absolutely. you're going to like the best of all the cigars that are coming out this and year. And guess what? There's no. Those loser. are two out of uh, other ones too, but those are two. I'm telling the listeners and viewers right now: find the size that you like, and, yeah. and do that not just with two? Nick and Steve cigars too, right? But with other cigars too. Find the size that you like because it matters. It matters. And don't dismiss the thing that gets me. The the takeaway that I have from this year is not to dismiss a, a brand line. or a blend or a line based on one size. If oh. you try oh, one the Avo Synchro Nicaragua yeah. in a smaller size and you didn't like it, try Quite the 60 bit. ring. No. I, I'm going to take another. Did you try the six uh, ring, the Avo Synchro Nicaragua? Yeah. Uh, I was what did surprised. You think? It was, was you were in a shot. Yeah. Dave Garofalo came on Said the show. The and, and I'm like, Dave, I'm like, so what, what? what's surprising you and what's selling well? He's like, you know, what's interesting, the Avo Synchro Nicaragua and the six ring. He's like, that cigar is absolutely outstanding. Mm. And he's like, I had to like hand sell it to get it to people to smoke it because it was the larger size. And I'm like, dude, we totally agree. Yeah. We totally agree. I, I'm telling, and, and, and the whole thing is, what I also told people, Steve's. Nick, um, uh, Dave, Cigar, whoever's, Phil's, go on and on, Tatawahe. You have to understand, okay, you may pick that favorite Vitola. Smoke that five or six times because, mm-hmm. for me, I guess I'm not that bright to figure out after one or two. I have to get a component of five or six cigars to see where I'm at. That's just me. And I'm going to say another thing, and, and this is really something I've changed my philosophy. As tempting as it is when that new cigar comes into the store, and it's tempting, don't smoke it off the truck. I know. No. And we all, all do it. We all do it. But, I know, but, Will. You're but right. reviewers out there should not be reviewing them off the truck. And not only that, yeah. I'll take a step further. I'm, I'm geeking it out. Right. 
I'm going to send out, well, Mike Neely, I'm going to uh, yell out in Colorado. I send you the cigar. It takes four or five days to travel. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. I, I, I know I'm, I'm going geeking myself out. Let that, and, and Mike is a smart, smart, smart man. He always puts them down for a couple of two or three weeks. Mm-hmm. Do it. Do, Do it. it. Hot, cold, cold, hot, whatever. I don't care. The temperature it, and humidity changes. Oh, I'm telling it, you. It, believe me, I know it's tempting. And I know, and, and there's a philosophy that I've talked to some folks that say, well, it should be ready when it, it hits the store. Yeah, yes, but there's got to, but, but give it a, give it a, like what Steve said with his instructions. Yes. I was right. Give on. it a rest. How about when you, when you get a steak right off the grill and you don't let it rest? What yeah, happens? Right, right. Yeah. I know it's not when you open a bottle of wine. Right? Yeah, lasagna in the next day. You got to let all the wine the breathe same thing. a little bit. It's. Similar yeah. kind of thing, but right? but the whole thing is that's where cigars will always be a, a gray area, and gray is a terrible color in my mind. But it is what it is. You have to give it that time to to, to reach its potential. Yes, and and I, it, it's, it's I'll go back. Think to about f- all, but think about all the cigars we smoke, and the ones we really enjoy are like, wow, this was sitting in my humidor for quite some time, right? And, and I'm not saying years, but this was sitting in my humidor for a couple of months, and I went back to it, and wow, it's a really great cigar. I, that I, rest time is so important. You know, yeah. you know was another. Uh, I'm gonna, I gotta I do a big, big yell out to Seth, uh, Seth Humidor. Now I had no idea he smoked a cigar. And Seth, I think he has a great palate. I, I really, I, I really give him a, a, a big yell out to him. Um, and 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 it's funny we. Sometimes smoke cigars <laughs> similar, mm-hmm. and one was a Hoyle de Monterey, uh, else, uh, oh, yeah. uh, um, something San Juan. I can't think of it. It's a 10 box count. I even go into different uh factories and, and box codes. I guess was it a, a Cuban regional release? No, nope. It's it's just it, it's 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 not a regional, is it a non Cuban it, or it's just a rate? Cuban? It's just okay. a Cuban, it's a, a the, the 10 count mm-hmm. box. If I had my cell phone, I would uh, pick it up. L. L um, Did you lose your cell phone? Phil? I don't know where it is. <laughs> 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 my wife's probably called me 12 times. <laughs> I don't know where it is. And uh, anyway, El Salman or whatever. And I'm smoking the cigar. And I I have a couple of cigars in my humidor. And it's like I found these things. They're two years old, a year and a half old. Unbelievable. And I'm smoking the cigar. And I just ordered three more 10 packs. Wow. And... Uh, Crazy. So I go and say, and here's Seth. Lo and behold, dead on as usual, Seth. This is one of the best Cubans I've ever smoked in wow. about five years. That's awesome. And they're coming in. Uh, they're shipped, so I should have them. I'll bring them on to the show. And I'm telling you, it, there's another gentleman. Again, like, that's what I love about – that's what I'm saying. It just – Look at everything. Listen to everybody. Form your own opinion. It doesn't matter. It, it just it, this is where I, I do really like to bring, and and maybe not next week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. Let's, let's wait. I really like to have the. I, I, I hate. To, I'm not going to pair off, or say who's right or wrong, or better or worse. I, I, I what, the two most anticipated cigars of this year. Outside, of course, Padron's always that way. Push it aside. What two more cigars and has got more buzz this year than Steve and Nick cigars? Nick, two rookies. And you say rookies, but they're not. Mm-hmm. Not, but new company. I yeah, mean, you're new... right. And I have my opinion. Right. I'm not going to disclose it now. I think there's something we should do by the end of the year is yes. have a little, you know, I, I don't think Steve would mind and neither would Nick because if I say, Nick, and you say Steve, and you say Nick, and the other guy say Steve, it doesn't matter. It's a buzz that we're talking about it. And I think that would be a nice discussion for another time. I think we should invite Steve and Nick, Nick to the studio. here into the studio because they're not that far from the studio. And they're both. We should have them here, and we should talk about it, everything. We should lay it all on the table because, now. Because they got their cigars released. They've been in the market for a while. Yeah. Right? Let them Get out there in the market two different for a while, factories, have a great two different conversation. things, yeah. and, I, and yeah. I really think it'd be because I think both cigars. Can I say this fairly? I'll say this: they each have their own following. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Well, we, do we agree is, on that, Coop? 
Yeah, one is Hoya esque and one right. is Casa Fernandez esque. Right. But the and, 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 and the hear me out. One ages and takes longer than the other. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I'm not going to say which I, I, one is which. Do we agree with that? Okay. So I think it's a great conversation. I think it's a worthy conversation. And there's no winner and there's no loser because they're both excellent cigars. And I think uh, it's and just. And I think they should arm wrestle. Well, Steve would probably win that one. Oh, ne- no never offense, under- Nick, but I think Steve <laughs> is a big boy. I think, I think Steve would win that one. And, and, and I like them both. And and, and I think it would be a great Maybe conversation. Maybe they do rocks, paper, scissors or something. Or, or martini or fucking scotch. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we but, see how many shots they can do or something. Yeah. So anyway, what's Dude, the next how one? How epic would that be to have them both yeah. in the studio? I'm, I'm I, I, I would love, I think, I, no, I would love to put that epic. together. Because I have, we should put a challenge out to them I, I'm to come into a, the studio. I know Steve and I'm, Nick uh, in the Story Geek Studio. That's at the that same challenge. time to talk about cigars. We're we going to make that happen in 2016. Because you know, I, I would love to. Them. Because I, I think they're both unique, different. Bring a different approach to each size, to each thing. They are probably two of the most youngest, but yet. The most intelligent people in this industry that I oh, I, and I, we should put that to the test, and we should have trivia questions for them, and mm. not necessarily about cigars. I've been good at coming up with trivia questions. You heard my trivia question oh, about uh, cigars. I, I, I tell you what, trivia, should do, trivia question. Oh, they would ace that in a in a, in a minute. Well, no, because see, we wouldn't do cigar trivia. We would do one oh, on like oh. movie trivia. Yeah. <laughs> we would do one on like mm-hmm. like random trivia, car trivia. Uh, and, yeah. Anyway, um, and, and, to, and move into our next segment. Um, how, how many cigars have you smoked of Casey's New uh, Racine? Oh, I haven't. I haven't smoked it none. Yet. None. I have one. What is, is that? What is that size that he just came out with? Is it Lonsdale? A but Lons- it's not a Grande. Not a Lonsdale Grande. It's a regular Lonsdale. It's just a Lonsdale. It's just a regular Lonsdale. It's not uh, I the Story want- Geeks Lonsdale Grande. <laughs> I think I think this is his best thing he's ever. I did. just smoked that. It's in my humidor at home. I haven't. I haven't. Re- uh, okay. Anyway. I really, I, I, I tell you what, I, I just think KC does some great job, great work. I, I'm just a great fan of KC. I really am. Uh, Will, gets, what else you been yeah. smoking, dude? Uh, Padron de Masso. All right. <laughs> I paused because I wanted to hear what the noises and sounds <laughs> that Stogie Santa would make. All right. So ah! I smoked. Let me, let me kind of. Let me circumcise myself first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All okay. right. Um, number 12, I smoked the 5x50 Robusto. Oh, both- say it with some enthusiasm, Will. Don't let him get you down. I'm not letting him get Don't me down. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm 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 be very straight with, with this cigar. Okay. Um, I also smoked the number 8, the 5 and a half by 40. I had them all. All right. Um, in a nutshell, yes. it's not your typical Padron, the starters, okay? I didn't think it was bad flavor, okay? What I, this cigar lacked and it lacked it big time. It had no complexity. But yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I want to cut you. I think it had the. I I thought it was very very ordinary. Um, it wasn't a bad cigar. If that cigar was not, let me say, if that cigar was not a thirteen dollar and fifty cent cigar. Yeah, uh, take price off the table though, Will. Thank right, you. Take price Thank off the you. table, but that's fat. I mean. You no, know, I understand the price does play a factor, but yeah, take but it off the they, table. They, they, they go up to fifteen. Take they the go up to seventeen dollars, eighteen it's bucks. Still, it still isn't the first choice of a Connecticut I would go for. No, I it's, agree with that. It, it's I I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to go for a segment, but there are so many other cigars in that wheelhouse taking oh. price out of the equation. I mean, that are much much better. There's a lot of cigars that are much, much better than that. It's uh, I'm just d- extremely disappointed. A lot of Connecticut cigars? There's a lot worse, but there's a lot worse. There's a lot worse. Limited no, I don't. I, I, okay. No, again. It's ordinary. It was ordinary. See, See I don't agree I, that I, it's I ordinary. Think complex, I think it has complexity, complexity <clears throat> is overrated. If you've got a good flavor of that cigar that you like, and it tastes really good, and it tastes the same thing really good all the way through. It wasn't, uh, but it didn't wow you, but that flavor but, didn't wow you. It wasn't a Connecticut that's There you wow go. You. Now, you're saying, now, now we're splitting. Uh, uh, Coop, I don't mean to be so No, rude. you're fine. No, you're, yeah, you're You know what I'm saying? Complexity and flavor. I never got any flavor. 
you know, I didn't, but I didn't think it was horrible flavor either. I, I didn't no, it was but it wasn't. It was uh, oh, Padron. They, they, okay, they set the bar, and I give them all the credit in the world. And I don't think they, they didn't set the bar in their Connecticut though. That uh, and it, I, I've smoked two, two of them, maybe three so far. And as I let them age, they get a lot better. The first yeah. ones I smoked were not as good as the second batch that, I smoked as the third I batch say. I smoked. That's yeah. kind of but I, I think they, they are getting better. Like, but even as getting- even as they get better with age, I can go reach for a Connecticut. I'm going to limit it to Connecticut's that are half the price, that are twice as better than that yeah. Padron. And I, I don't mean to. I, and, 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 and I don't mean to sound derogatory towards uh, Padron in the, in this particular blend. But and I don't mean to compare it. But uh, there are cigars that come to my mind, and I spoke a lot of Connecticut's. Will in Stogie Santa, uh, two come to my mind immediately this year. And that's the AJ Fernandez New World um, in the Connecticut Florida. in the Corona. Mm-hmm. Awesome cigar, uh, about half the price of the Padron oh, de Masos. Yeah. Um, the EPC the New, Wave New World uh, New Wave Reserva. Yep. Uh, in the Toro size is maybe not half the price, but a lot less expensive. Um, and that cigar to me is extremely enjoyable. Because I was, I, I, I tell you what, I, I never, never experienced so much overhype at this. I heard more people run around at this show. But it was a big well, deal. It, you yeah. got, but to, you can't let the the hype. Imp, you got to smoke it the was cigar big news. without it was a smoke big the cigar. Story. If you no, smoke they, that cigar, they, they without, put the, they put no no they put the hype out. I okay, didn't. that's fine. But smoke the cigar without the band on it. Pretend the band doesn't exist. Pretend it's not a Padron. I, do, do you guys, your rate, your ratings. I know you guys. Your ratings stay the same, right? Your oh, yeah. oh, it makes no difference. It makes no difference. The blind, the blind right. man's puff guys did a blind review of it, and it did not come out overwhelmingly yeah. high. So they they did it. They have done it blind, and it wasn't much different than where I had it. They didn't yeah. have it horrible. No, yeah. Um, I here's the and Stogie saying you could probably really comment on this. The first, the first batch, the the cigars you get in the first wave will sell. Now, when those reorders come in, oh, I, I can't. They may have a problem. That could be the first Padron on a closeout. It's it's it's. So I don't I don't know. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see. I would what be happens. out of the fence by it on the closeout. I, I'm saying it's going to age well, but no, I think Connecticut. If you have look a at limit. what else you could get in a closeout, look at some other Connecticut's. Uh, see what I'm saying? Now you're making my point. Esteban yeah, Carrera is two eleven. Toro is go, go six dollars and fifty cents, dude. And to yeah. me, yeah. that's a better I, Connecticut I, I, than what Pedro I can't, even, I can't even put it at, at AJ Fernandez Corona Gold. I can't even put it at that price. No, no. You see what I'm saying? See the pickle uh, they I put buy in. Bo- I buy boxes of that of that uh, AJ Fernandez New World. I have, a, I have a saying, but I'll keep it to myself at this point. But um, it's, it's, it was it, it, to me, it was a disappointing miss for Pedro. Mm. As much as I love. Padron and what they've produ- produced, produ- produ- whatever, whatever. whatever, and what they've made, they, it was a miss for me. It was it was a, a, a miss. I, I, it was I, disappointing. I, I it was could, disappointing. Someone on. who loves it, like myself, who loves to smoke Connecticut's, it was mm-hmm. disappointing. And mm-hmm. I think they can do better. I do think that age has improved my impression of the cigar, but doesn't live up to what the market has been producing. For Connecticut cigars, because, in, in their defense, because they set the b- the bar so high, yeah, right. with their you know what I mean? I mean? Yes. I mean, God bless them; they are what they are. They're uh, uh, they're, they're they're all by themselves. So they have no salesmen. They have nothing. Who am I to tell Padrones what they're doing right or wrong? Because I have no bearing on whatsoever, and no one does. They, what, uh, a new they're, cigar they're, that they're had an a, old what's, what's another Connecticut cigar that had a lot of hype this year that has gotten a lot better with age? Uh, Underground Shade. Thank you, Will. Underground yep. Shade. Which really came around. It did. Smoke it smoke mm. it more recently. I see your Braden face you got on right now. No, it <laughs> got better. Uh, I, I, it, I, I, uh, that cigar got a lot better with age. A it lot got a lot better, better with age. age. Mm. It did. But here's the thing. You know, go back again. So Padron's trying to hit that 
Monte Cristo white smoker. Exactly. Oh, more so. I think more. Not only Monte Cristo. See, but I, I that think cigar it, has too much, spi- to, no, too much I, spice, too father. much strength to, to go no, no, against no, they're the Monte Cristo white. Off. They're, they're trying to do that. Yeah, you're right. And we yeah, talked. And it has and, way too much spice and way too much strength <laughs> to compete with the Davidoff, right. in my opinion. I smoked a lot of Davidoffs. And you tell me, uh, Davidoff Claro or that? Uh, Not even, even a comparison. What's the other uh, Davidoff with the Connecticut wrapper, high price tag, an offshoot from the white label? Not Millennium. the Millennium, but the other one. Um, it'll come to me. Uh, Churchill? I mean, um, um, oh, Grand uh, Crew. Yeah, Grand, Grand Crew. Yeah. Or I think Nat Grand Sherman Crew. Sterling. No, we, we talked about are that the, Those are all I'll the same take, price I'll, range. I'll, I'll, you think of Nat, Nat Sherman? Sherman yeah. Nat Sherman uh, Sterling is a little, uh, just a tad cheaper. Tad cheaper, okay. Uh, and I'll take that all day long. Yeah. Yeah. All day long. That All cigar day smokes long. awesome every time you smoke it. Yep. I mean, mm-hmm. you'd, you'd be hard pressed. And to I find still a think that's yeah. overpriced for what it for what it is. It, that is a high price tag. The people that I've recommended that to that want a mm-hmm. Connecticut cigar, they're like, "Well, I nope. bought one. It was really good." Because they're like, I can't uh, justify the price. Can you can you fairly say that when it comes to Connecticut, we don't have the geek outness on a Connecticut that we do have on other cigars? No, I think we do. I would argue the no. contrary. I think we do. I think it's incredibly difficult to blend a Connecticut cigar. I think that if you get it wrong, Connecticut it's like a light Connecticut beer. wrapper. Yeah, Connecticut wrapper is going to have a lot of bitterness to it if you don't if you don't blend it right. You don't have the right because binder filler to offset because that. Yeah, you you get to a, get that creamy sweet component. It's, you it's get hard. A, you get a dark porter beer, and when you make some tweaks to it, it's not going to change as much. But what a, what a Connecticut. It, yeah. it's, it is what it is. Yes. You make some tweaks to it, and then it's going to be bitter, or it's going to be harsh, or it's not going to mm-hmm. have that creaminess component, and it's not going to be balanced. Balancing that Connecticut wrapper is some of the challenges in creating a great Connecticut cigar. And, well, and, and there are a lot limit, of people you're, that you're put limit it with your binder and filler, what you're going to do with it. And and, yeah, because you to balance that light, delicate flavors in that wrapper is very difficult. We've talked about that with a lot of different manufacturers that have come on the show. Yeah. But, anyway. but to go back to again to Racine to the thirteen race Racine two thousand fifteen, there's a smoke that I, I really That's gonna be high on your list, huh? Yeah, it really is. I'm not gonna say top I'm gonna smoke that this week coming up. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I really, really enjoy that smoke. I really I, truly do. I think it's one of Casey's better blends. I, I really do. Um who am I to tell him? Maybe that uh like, like I said, uh there's back and forth with the 13, 14, 15, which is better. 15 by far, in my humble opinion. I really, I, I smoked, if I haven't smoked a box of these, I haven't smoked one. And uh, I like it a lot. I just quickly, Drew Estate Norteño Edition Limitada Churchill. Did you smoke Whoa. that? No, I haven't. I did I the everything but. Yeah. I love the, that cigar. The, the Limitada Churchill is very different from all the regular Nortenos. That's good. I liked it. I had it, uh, and I think that's good, too, because I wasn't a huge fan of the Nortenia, to be honest with you. Uh, I had it as a box worthy. That's how much I like that cigar. And I had a box split, but it's very good. It's a very, very good cigar, and I think it's got huge box aging split, potential. Box worthy is about the same thing. Not quite, but it's, it's it, high rated. When it, it, one it, person it, rates a box worthy, another one box split, I agree. Uh, you know, I, would, you, I would go get a box. you gotta go. You got to go get some of those, right? Very, it's, very good cigar. I found, I found it was a little. Well, here's what I liked about that cigar: the Norteño had too much body to it. Yeah. It had flavor, but the, it was, it was one of those. It was a little overwhelming on my palate. And I think they dialed it back a bit with that Churchill. I agree, Will, and it made a lot more of the flavors come out. It did. It really did. Mm-hmm. So they did. You know, I know they did tweak it, and it was very good. And if I told on the Churchill, that's what happens. It's a box yep. press Churchill, and, and the Churchill smokes. It's it's a good smoking Churchill too. So it's a lot not of smoke production. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Anything, anything else, Will? Um, I have one more that we could talk about this week, and that is. I just apologize there. I had the. I want to talk about Stogie Sanders here. The La Mission. Uh, oh yeah. Nineteen fifty nine. Um. I tell you what, I'm not going to say it was the best San Andreas cigar that came out this year, but it was very good. Um, it was probably the best Latelier I've had regular production in some time. I agree. Yep, um, and had really good flavors. Um, I thought it, I thought the San Andreas, they did a good job with that San Andreas wrapper. I had it as a box split. 
That, that that's a fair assessment. Yeah, I think it's. Um, I need to I go mean, back I, and smoke that again. Now that you gave I mean, me that rating. Now I've had. Yeah, I think you gave it a fiver. Well, and I smoked a right after the show, and it was a show sample, so. And I smoked the the robusto, which is the 1959 size. Uh, I think that's what um, I smoked as well. There yeah. are. There are, I think Jose's Maduro is better than this one. I'll be honest with you. And I think Matilde. Is, Jose, is Jose's Maduro the San Andreas Maduro? Yeah, the, yeah. yeah he's using San Andreas. I and think, I think 660 is the best one. It's very good. In and the Jose's Matilde. Line? I, think I never thought I would say 660 would be his best one. but I mean, He's got an awesome San I wonder if it's the same wrapper he puts on his blending kit cigar. Because whatever San Andreas wrapper Jose had on his blending seminar cigar, it was freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, it was but it's really awesome. Jose's Jose's Maduro is another cigar that has really come into its own since I had one at, right after the show, and I thought it was okay. Um, but since then, I think mm. with a little time, it's that cigar's come into. I I know what he's trying to do with that cigar. I think Jose so, has a lot of patience and a, and a real uh, knack for Maduro cigars. Yep. 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 By the way, Jose's now officially living in the states. That that is now official. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yep, he's up in Hoboken, so we may have to get him up to the studio early next nice. year. That's not yep. far from here at all. Not at all. Sweet. Yep. So. Okay. What? Uh, what are we giving away? Prize pack 166. I don't think we have a prize pack 166. How do we not have one? I put it in the notes. <laughs> Ruh, Ruh. No, you know why? Because we sent everything out from our previous contests and it the funny part is uh i uh included some cigars from my personal collection in some of those prize packs <laughs> to we random, had a, we had a random listeners we sent out like i don't know we had a staff eight of them issue. we had a little and bit it, of a staffing issue guys so we yeah, call it. it but in three of them i included some cigars and i got some feedback it was it was pretty fun to to include some cigars for uh, our listeners in addition to what they had already won um, but we'll no, give no, away. No, we ought to do. How's this for 166? Uh, I have some silk petit coronas. How about we? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do a a favorite one of me, you, and Will? Oh, that's a pretty good one. I'll put in a Julius Caesar Robusto. Um, what can I put in? Which we talked about on this show and the last show was being really, really good. Mm-hmm. I'll throw in what? I think of something. How about uh um I'll throw some kind of a Cuban in there. How's that? I think of something. Some es Esplendido. No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, I, I, I'll <laughs> Did we talk about a new sponsor, Will? No, we Is haven't. Is it official yet? It's official. Why don't you talk about it? Yes. Uh, we are now uh, Rocky Patel Premium Cigars is now on board with us. Excellent. Yep. Welcome, yep. Rocky so we'll Patel. Have, yep. To the yeah, Stewie Geeks family. We yep. had Rocky Patel on the show this year. Yep. And uh, I spoke I, to I, his Lancero. I'll talk about that next week. It's the very Super good. The Super Lajero? 20th Lancero. Okay. I haven't yep. smoked the 20th yet. I tell you what, the, I like the Super Lajero a lot. It, people have this perception, dude, mm. and I... You know, I know. I've heard it. I've heard it. And I tell you what, when Rocky came on the show, they sent us a bunch of cigars, and I smoked them. That Super Lajero is friggin' awesome. It's friggin' awesome. In the uh, He sent us the belly in that size. I don't know. Whatever he sent us, he was like, send these out for a contest, and I smoked like half of them because <laughs> they were so good. Uh, and the Prohibition was good as well. I like the Super Lajero a little better than the, the Prohibition. Yep. Um but the Prohibition he makes in, in two different wrappers in those really cool jars. Uh, I like the Prohibition, but I, I like the Super Lajero better. I, t I, I smoked all my Super Lajeros. I got to get some more. And he makes that in the Lancero, which is what I thought you were referring to, Will. And he's got a 20th anniversary? Yep, the 20th anniversary Lancero, which yep. I think. And I'll talk about that next week. I can't, I can't wait to smoke that um, one. I smoked the, and it's a very good line, but the Lancero shines in that line. Mm. Excellent. But we have to get back to our prize pack. Uh, so we're... What are we doing? Uh, I'm giving a, a Julius Caesar Robusto. Um, how about a, an, an age, uh, <sighs> Jen? Uh, how about 100 años, Churchill? Okay. okay. Now I'm, I'm kind of drawing blank what I want to do. Um, I will throw in a – I got to send something to you guys to do that. Um, you do? 
I'm going to throw in an Avo 85th. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. So you yeah. get a Julius Caesar Robusto, a La Aurora Cien Anos Churchill. Two, three years old. Three years old. I've got some of those, too. Uh, those, those are, good. are smoking and freaking Oh, awesome. really? i got to smoke one now that you say that. Uh, and what was yours, Will? An Avo um, 85th. 85th. That's a perfect yeah. And why don't we throw, throw two, we usually do a five-pack, right? No, we'll do three for okay. this one. So okay. Otherwise, we'll get really confused. It will confuse the people who are saying that. San Anos, we said San Anos Churchill? San yep. Anos Churchill. Wow. Yes. It's great smoke. Oh. Yep. Oh, what's our question going to be for that, Will? Uh, how about uh -huh. how about um the two six two? What it stands for uh, on? Uh, yep. yep. Good Let's question. Do yep. What does two six two stand for? Yep. In two six two cigars, send the correct answer to the show at stogiegeeks.com, yep. and uh, we'll do first one in. First one in wins. So you'll yep. be either listening to the live show or be one of the first people to listen to this when it posts up to YouTube or into iTunes. Send us the correct answer <laughs> to the show at stogiegeeks.com. What is two six two? Stand for in relation to our interview with Clint Aaron from 262 Cigars. And you get a Julius Caesar Robusto, a La Aurora Cien Anos Churchill, and an Alvo 85th Double Oof. Perfecto, which is oh, oh, awesome. Oh, oh. Awesome, you get awesome cigars. You get some good cigars there. And we'll send that to you. So thanks, everyone, for listening. That concludes this edition of the Stogie Geek Show. We'll see everyone next week. Ciao for now. Hooray for martinis. Oh, no shit. Are we off? Oh, so, so, yeah, yeah, we're off. Yeah. Um, What we should have keys do is probably go through the cooler door and start putting some prize packs together. We have a lot of cigars in there. Yes. Um, and I then we have Keith through the – Keith and, uh, sent you uh, three unbandits. Okay. And then what we need to do here is we need 